Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about how to subtract dissimilar fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here four different examples wherein we are asked to subtract this kind of dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with different denominators. So example number one, we have 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. As you can see, we have two different denominators, which is 2 and 4. So the question here, how are we going to subtract this kind of fractions? First step is to make the denominators the same. In other words, we need to find the least common denominators. And the, the classical way on how to do that is to find the least common multiples of 2 and 4. To get the least common multiples of 2 and 4, you need to list down 2 and 4 and find all the multiples of it but we need to choose the smallest value of it so we have the multiples of 2 as 2 times 4 times 6 times 8 so we have 10 and so on and for 4 we have 4 8 12 16 20 and so on so for others it is easy for for you to i know for you to identify the least common multiple or the LCD of this one. Now, as you can see, listing all the multiples of 2 and 4, we have here 4, okay? So we can consider that this is the least common denominator. So using this, we have the LCD be equal to 4. Okay, let me erase this one. And what's next after determining the least common denominator is we will have this process 4 divided by 2 that is 2 and then times 1 so you need to divide and multiply 4 divided by 2 that is 2 times 1 that will give you 2 next 4 divided by 4 which is 1 times 1 this is 1 and then copy your operation here we have subtraction so what's next is to simplify your numerator which is 2 minus 1 that would give you the answer of 1 over 4. And this is the final answer guys because 1 over 4 is already in simplified form. Now let's move on with item number 3. For number 3, oh sorry, we have here number 2. For number 2 we have 3 over 5 minus 2 over 10. So as you can see the numbers here are 5 and 10. So we can say that the least common denominator of 5 and 10 is simply what? Here. It's simply 10. So we have here our LCD which is 10. So same process with number 1. 10 divided by 5, that would give us the answer of 2. Okay, 10 divided by 5 is 2 times 3, that is 6. Next, 6, oh sorry, 10 divided by 10, which is 1, times 2, that is 2. So we will subtract it. 6 minus 2, that is 4. Then copy your denominator, which is 10. And 4 over 10 is not yet the final answer because we still need to express this in lowest terms. 4 over, 4 over 10 is also equivalent to 2 over 5. This is now the final answer for item number 2. Okay? Now let's move on with number 3. For number 3, we have here 18 over 7 minus 1 and 3 over 4. This one is an improper fraction minus a mixed number. But, in this case, this one is under the similar fractions. So, as is na to, okay, we have here 18 over 7 and this part should be converted into an improper fraction. So for the improper fraction, our way here is to multiply first 1 times 4. Okay, you multiply your mixed number denominator 1 times 4. That is 4 plus 3. Okay, plus 3. That is equal to 7 over 4. And this one, minus 18 over 7. Now, given your denominator as 7 and 4, okay, your denominators are 7 and 4, 
the least common denominator is 28. So we can simplify this. Okay, this is 28. 28 divided by 7 is 4 times 18. So that is 4 times 18. Yung 4 times 18, that is 32. Okay? 33. 4 times 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Okay? Which is 4. Plus 3, that is 72. So this is 72. Minus... 7, uh, 28 divided by 4, that is 7, times 7, that is 49. So all we need to do is to simplify your numerator. So as you can see, 72 minus 49, okay, this is 12 minus 9, that would be 3, and 6 minus 4, that is 2. So we have here... 23 over, oh no, 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 23 over 28, okay, this is the final answer. Next, let's move on with the last item, we have number 4. In number 4, we are given 10 and 2 over 5, okay? So for 10 and 2 over 5, we need to convert this into an improper fraction. So we will multiply this 5 times... Uh, 10 times 5, which is 50, okay, 50 times 2, uh, 50, 10 times 5 is 50 plus 2, so it would give us 52 over 5, minus this one, instead of using 12 over 10, we know that we can simplify this into 6 over 5, okay, 6 over 5. And as you can see, we have here same denominator. So we can easily subtract them because all we need to do is to copy your denominator which is 5. Copy your denominator which is 5. And subtract your numerator which is 52 minus 6. That would give us the answer of 46 over 5. But in this case, we need to convert this into a mixed number. We know that this one is an improper fraction. Convert this into a mixed number. So what we need to do here is to divide this and the uh, equivalent mixed number of this is 9 and 1 over 5. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to subtract the similar fractions. And continue to support our channel, Facebook page, and even our TikTok videos. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goin. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!